you can see in my eyes that my soul has left me. <laughs> when I was a kid at the ice cream shop, mm -hmm. we used to have a 5K every, maybe it was every Sunday, and you'd run a 5K and then you'd go get ice cream afterwards. So when I saw that sign that said, come run with us, I thought they were gonna do the same thing. <laughs> I dug a donut. It's kind of a nice trade off. What? 5k for an ice cream. Yeah. The guy who ran the ice cream shop was like 500 pounds, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I just get two iced coffees? Uh, what size do you want? Medium? Medium. Sir. Medium? Yeah. Medium iced coffee? Sure. Yeah. And, and how do you want them? Um, just black. Thank can you. Can you give me donuts or money to go with that today? Oh, no, thank you. Easy mice coffee black. <laughs> Dogs exercise, laundry done because my life is that exciting, and now time for the gym, even though I have to play a hockey game in about 10 hours, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. This gym I don't yet love. It has more or less anything you need. The equipment is kind of outdated compared to what I'm used to. Now granted, I was at the most bougie gym in Chicago, arguably, so I'm a little spoiled, but they do have this like, performance center more or less that is like a couple of like like a soccer field in size frankly and on the side of it it's got like rogue power racks and all that stuff but that's where the people who train like high school and collegiate athletes that's where they do their like private semi-private fitness sort of things so i can't always use it which kind of sucks but it's not far from my house so you know it is what it is but let's go take care of this and then i got a lot of studying to do today so today was supposed to be something called a reverse push day. Essentially, you would start with the small muscle groups going to the big muscle groups, but I like power. So here is my third set of four at 295 with a bench press. It looked a lot faster than it felt, not gonna lie. So then we get to the small muscle groups, tricep extensions, using a weird cable machine that they have there, but I actually kind of like it. It gives me a good range and good contraction of the tricep. I wish it was a better machine, not gonna lie. And then here we have something called the JM press. It's kind of like a mix between a bench press and a skull crusher. It's tough to see, but the bar is kind of aiming for my chin and my forearm is placed flat up against my biceps. It's really hard. Now, my weakest muscle group, easily, shoulders. This is a weird variation of the front raise. I actually really like it. It's really difficult. The weight here wasn't particularly heavy, but once you get to the 10th, 11th, 12th rep, it gets tough. Now this is a bread and butter for me. Machine flies. I do a lot of weight here. I'm not sure if it's just the machine or it's me. I hope it's me, but it's probably just the machine. You notice I pause at the end just to get the good contraction. Then the last exercise is an incline Smith machine bench press. I have these cables there, or these bungees, just to help me out of the hole. It's pretty big weight and pretty big reps. Just to get me out of the hole and you'll notice there's slack at the top. This is, I think, my third set of 10 to 12 reps. So I just finished up about uh, an hour, hour and a half of studying. And uh, Kieran needs help putting up the curtain rod and I told her I was vlogging today, so. She said, oh my God, don't show me like this, but you know, too bad. Classic, 
she disappears. Oh well. Now it's a one-man job. Bruce, you're helping me. Blackout curtains installed. Wow. Sort of. Well, the old ones. Well, no, not even that. They're the current ones. But they're the old. current ones. The ones that were on sale. That's why she bought them. Not the real ones, but you know. At least the neighbors can't see us naked now. So that's fun. So before my camera actually dies, because it's almost going to, um, I've spent the last three hours staring at my board examination questions and doing more than my fair share of cursing because I get questions wrong a lot, but just like everybody's studying for this exam, so <laughs> it's not that much fun to look at. You can see in my eyes that my soul has left me. <laughs> uh, no, it's just not a lot of fun, that's all. Um, but now I get to actually go have some fun. I have been invited to skate in a hockey tournament uh, by one of my buddies up in Chicago who is from down here originally, so he made the trip down for the weekend to skate, and now I need to go dust off my hockey equipment, like literally dust it off, and uh, see if I can't make a fool out of myself. So, hopefully not, but we'll see how it goes. God, I hate studying. I miss hockey so much. Like every single day, I think about, you know, when I was 18, 19, 20, and out of high school, and all I had to do was wake up, go to the rink, Skate for two, two and a half hours, you know, go to my part-time job or my like one class I took, then go to the gym in the afternoon and that was all I had to do. And you know, that was like the, <laughs> it's like one of the, one of the best times of my life, frankly. Um, you know, so much fun. You're on the road every weekend, um, really with 20 of your closest buddies and I miss it every day. So chances to continue to play, you know, remind me of those kinds of times. And, you know, it's a lot of fun, and it's a lot of good exercise, and you meet good people. So one of the guys I used to play against in Chicago, he and I trained at the same gym. We became friends, and he reached out to me a couple weeks ago. I was like, hey, my dad is running a team down, you know, down here in Nashville for the, this weekend tournament. Do you want to play? And I, of course I said, yeah. And he's come, he came down today. I'll be, he'll be there when I get there. And um, yeah, you know, you make, you make good friends that way, so. I'm, I'm pretty excited to skate again. I, I think I've skated once since the pandemic happened, um, and that's about it. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, yeah, well, we're, we're gonna try. We're gonna do our best. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, I am not in hockey shape. It's about 10 o'clock. 9 o'clock? 10 o'clock? No watch on. Looks like a computer set. Almost 10 o'clock. Holy crap. I really missed playing hockey. I really did. Um, it's been. I think I sk yeah, I think I skated once or twice since March of 2020 when the pandemic hit. So it was nice to get back out there and, and skate. But um, you know, hockey shape is <laughs> hockey shape is pretty unique. You know, you're gonna be in great cardiovascular shape. You need a lot of coordination, stuff that you know you're just not used to if you're just not used to it. <sighs> Man, and I'm in very little of that shape. I'm very strong, <laughs> but I'm not in hockey shape. So. I don't know what that means for my training, but I know it means I'm gonna eat a lot before I go to bed because my blood sugar is gonna be zero all night. And I have two games tomorrow, so I'm going to bed. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you next time.